Hi, my name is Rachel Ellis, and I'd like to show to you today the Allos Saparino recorder. See, this is the carrying case, and this is very small and very cute. It has a beautiful tone. It comes with the cleaning rod, and it comes with a fingering chart of all the trill fingerings and regular fingerings of all the recorders. And this is a very small recorder. I want to show you the difference between a saparino and the soprano. So that usually people start to work to play on the soprano, but as you can see, it is much bigger, the soprano than the saparino. So this one is perfect for putting in your pocket, your handbag, your backpack to take with you anywhere. Um, so let me play a few notes here. And the right, right hand goes at the bottom, the left hand goes on the top. And they're very close together, so this could also be very good for children. Um. So as you can see, it's very sweet. I can play something similar on the soprano, and you'll hear that it's a bit lower. was the soprano and this one is the saparino. Now the big difference between the soprano and the saparino is how we read the notes. If you put down all six, seven of your fingers, see it's eight and nine fingers, so the lowest note on the soprano is a low C. Or if you're in Europe, do. Okay, the major difference between the saparino is if we put all our fingers down, the lowest note is F. Okay, so this F is with all the fingers down. And so when we are reading, when we are playing the saparino, we start on F and go up, 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 up. And I have found that the best book to buy is the Mel, that's upside down. Here it is. Fun with the Alto Recorder by Franz Ziedler. This, my copy is from 1979, um, so it's very old. But there's the new edition, which I'll give you the link in the blog post. And what is interesting about this book is that it doesn't start with the lowest note, because sometimes that's a little difficult. But it starts already on G, or Sol. And each page, we go up. And so we go up, up until we get to D, high D or Re. And then after we have a basis in some high notes, then we start to go lower. So then we have F and the exercises are very melodic and simple to play. So even if the saparino which plays the same as the alto, is your first instrument, it's very easy. And by the time you finish, it might take a few weeks, you will be able to play the Saparino recorder. And it's a very beautiful instrument. Um, okay, and this is a very nice book. Um, it has uh, a lots of, of songs that you might know. Streets of Laredo, The Sailor, O Canada, The Erie Canal, and it ends with the bluebell. One of the the um, ending ones is a duet page, Bluebells of Scotland, and a Baroque duet. So this is a very good beginning book to play with your alto or saparino recorder. You could have a friend play the alto, and you play the saparino, and then you have a nice duet. So I really recommend to get the Saparino recorder and the fun with the alto recorder as your book to learn from. And if you can spend um, 50 days to learn with this book, I'm sure that by the, by, that, by the end of 50 days, you will be an expert player on the Saparino. So thank you so much for watching. And I will put links on the bottom of this video or on a blog post, which I'll I'll put a link to the blog post on the bottom of the video. Thank you so much and have fun with the Saparino recorder.